Hello everyone. We'll take one sum from the range minus pi to pi. So let us begin with an easy sum. F of x is equal to x cube. I have taken easy sum to understand the concept. So the very first thing is the range given is minus pi to pi. So first thing which comes in our mind to check whether the function x cube is even or odd. How to check whether the function is even or odd? Replace x by minus x. So f of minus x will be what? Minus x cube which is same as minus of x cube. So between this f of x and this there is an additional minus sign. So whenever we have that additional minus sign we can write that the function is odd function. So f of minus s is equal to minus f of x which which proves that function is odd. Now in the earlier lecture I have summarized that whenever the function is odd the sum becomes easier because a0 will become 0 and a n will also become 0. So these two coefficients will become 0. So what remains is you have to find f of x. So the Fourier series is given by f of x is equal to summation n goes from 1 to infinity b n sin n x. Only this is my Fourier series because a 0 a n has become 0 already. So my equation 1 will be like this. Okay. So now what remains is just finding this bn. So let us find the bn first. So bn formula is you can write 1 upon pi f of x sin nx. We have seen this in the range for 0 to 2 pi. This was my formula. And the limits of integration were 0 to 2 pi. Now the limits of integration will be minus pi to pi. Also you can write this as the formula which I have explained in the earlier lecture also. So you buy, do by this formula or you do by this formula the answer will come same. Okay. So any one is okay for you. Okay. So now we can write 2 by pi 0 to pi. What is my f of x? x cube sin nx. Now in my second lecture I have explained the shortcut method of u into v that is by paths. So again, x cube will be what? Your u and sin x will be v. Why it is u? Because the derivative is getting vanished. So that is my algebraic term. So the derivative will get vanished. So what is the rule? First copy u as it is. Okay. Then keep on taking the derivative. Derivative is 3x square. Then uska derivative 6x. Uska derivative 6. Uska derivative 0 which I am not writing sin nx sin nx v hai uska mujhe integration karte chalna you don't have to copy you have to take the integration which is cos nx upon n sin nx upon n and one more n becomes n square again minus minus will become plus cos nx upon n cube and this will be sin nx upon n raised to 4 Okay, and then you know it is 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus alternate. So this is my shortcut method u into v which I have seen earlier also. Now my limit substitution comes into picture. As I have told you earlier also, we will concentrate only on the cos terms because sin pi is 0, sin 0 is also 0. So anyway, this term and this term is going to get vanished. So the terms containing sin, you can ignore those terms. So let us substitute the limits in place of cos. Okay. So first I will substitute in the first term of your substitution. So in place of x cube I will write pi cube minus cos of n pi upon n. So this was my upper limit minus the lower limit. 0 multiplied by any number is 0. So ye vese bhi 0 aega. So ignore. Next minus 6 into pi is my upper limit karenge his third term mein, into cos of n pi upon n cube again lower limit 0 that will go away so even if I substitute lower limit it is coming 0 so I substitute or I don't substitute that does not matter okay so 
what remains cos n pi you can take common which you know that is minus 1 raised to n you can take that common in dono mein se pi bhi common nikal sakta hai okay so pi also can be taken out common but now let us see what i'm getting so this is my pi and pi will get cancelled one pi gets cancelled so uh, this will be pi square uh, minus 1 by n i'm taking minus 6 1 upon n cube so what common i'm taking between these two terms i'm taking one pi common and one cos n pi outside so one pi will get uh, cancelled with this okay so this pi and this pi gets cancelled okay so what remains is 2 cos n pi matlab minus 1 raised to n you know that cos n pi the value of cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n so depends on the power what answer will you get so final answer is minus pi square upon n minus 6 upon n cube so this is answer for my bn you can take minus sign common also if you want but no need so this will be my bn uh, i'm so sorry here it is plus so here you'll get a plus sign correct perfect so this is my final answer for bn and now you'll substitute this in equation number 1 to get the final fourier series so my final fourier series so substituting in 1 i'll get the final fourier series okay so that is x cube is equal to summation n 1 goes to infinity whatever answer i've got 2 into minus 1 raised to n and uh, this minus pi square upon n plus 6 upon n cube and uh, sin nx Okay, the range is minus pi less than x less than pi. So this is my final answer. So this sum reduces to half of the sum of the original sum. So the sum easier, and it usually you should attempt these type of questions.